Gary, I don't think we've felt SJP like that in the last 10 to 15 minutes of a game and at the end of a game for quite some time this season, which just shows how much the supporters appreciated the huge effort that the boys put in to, to hold on to three points today. Yeah, I think they appreciated the effort and we needed every single one of them. It was, you know, 10 men, backs to the wall, and, and we needed the supporters to give them that last ounce of energy to stop across, to head it out our box, to run up the pitch. I thought the players were incredible second half, not just the, the determination and the, the kind of work ethic and the team spirit, but the courage to still play against 11 men and still play through at times. And we actually created really good opportunities in that second half and could have scored. They created one big chance that I remember hitting the bar, but you know, a, an amazing effort by, by every single person in this stadium today. I don't think it felt like we had 10 men for, for most of that second half. No, it didn't. But when we, when we had the ball, I thought we showed real bravery. But you know, when when they then switched play or or, or got the free man on the ball to play forward, we we had to obviously respect. They put four, five, six men on the last line, and they're they're going to put you under pressure. They're going to get more set pieces. They're going to get more throw-ins. But like I said, we still had that courage and bravery when we had the ball. We tried to pass the ball. We tried to create opportunities, and the effort and the 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 legwork of our front players and our midfield players was, was incredible. We managed to freshen them up with Millie coming on, Dion coming on, uh, Woodsy coming on. Uh, so we, we kept it. We tried to keep the energy in the team and the speed in the team high up the pitch. And we looked a constant threat in that second half, but obviously had to defend more, more than we would have liked. What can you say about the half-time incident? Obviously, Zach Jules being shown that red card in the tunnel. I didn't see it. I heard a lot of commotion and, and people jumping about and they were, you know, their staff, their players were really adamant that he'd done something. But uh, it's disappointing. There's, there's obviously loads of players coming in the tunnel. I don't know how the ref can, can kind of see what, whatever happened. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it happened. We had to deal with it. And I think the big thing was the reaction of the players and, and everyone understood exactly what we had to do at half time. We went out and we... We carried out a totally different game plan. We showed uh, a different side to, to our game and our character and our determination not to concede. And it's another fantastic clean sheet after after Tuesday night. And I think it showed it's not easy to play with ten men. It showed how good we were on Tuesday night playing with t uh, playing against ten men as well. So it's been an incredible week. I just said to the players, we asked for seven points. Now I asked for seven more games uh, because there are seven huge games that we want to. Uh, get as many points as we can. We want to be competitive like we were in that game in every single game that remains and, and see where this season can go. Defensively, brilliant again. Will Ameson, superb at times. Czech was brilliant when he came on. Uh, is, is Sweens OK? Obviously, he went off injured. Yeah, he just wasn't feeling well in that first half. Uh, so he had to come off. We then lose another defender through the red card. We're playing, you know, with Emmy at right back. He's not a natural light right back. Ben has to come on. Uh, Czech has to come on. It's never easy coming on as a defender to a game. Uh, I thought Will Emson was, was absolutely outstanding uh, the whole game, but second half in particular... He took a blow in his face. He, he was a proper old-school centre-back who won everything. His speed on the recovery when we were a bit stretched was incredible. Some of his passes down the side was incredible. So for him to come through the difficult period, for the whole team to come through the difficult period that we went through, I think we showed today there's a, there's a different resilience, there's a different mentality about this group uh, than we've seen you know, pre-Christmas. Ilmari played a big part in the third goal at Shrewsbury on Tuesday. He created the goal for Reese Cole today. Do you think we're seeing the best of Ilmari Niskan at the moment? Yeah, we are. He took another blow on his shoulder today, which is a little bit of a worry because he, he had one on, on uh, Tuesday night. But uh, his energy, you know, even when he has a, a poorer game in terms of his end product, uh, he's an incredible teammate. He's someone that is always there to run, to fight, to compete for the team. But... At this moment in time, uh, his end product has been very, very good. Uh, I think it was him that picked out uh, Luke early in the game as well, which was a big chance. Uh, but it was an absolutely brilliant goal, something we've worked on all week, getting the 10s in, in behind and between their uh, five and their four midfielders, and then those slide passes into crossing zone one, and then looking to cut it back again, similar to the goal that Luke scored on Tuesday. This time it was Reese arriving. We'd switched Reese and TC, which I felt helped us get a bit more impetus as well. And great to see Reese arrive and, and smash it in the goal. 
there's not really anyone else you want on the end of that ball, is it? As, as Reese likes to say when he hits one like that, wallop Bosch. Yeah, it might be another wallop Bosch weekend, but no, great, great for him. He played deeper, we tried to use him deeper in his range of passing, but I felt like he wasn't getting on the ball enough and then putting TC in there, he's, he's clever and, and how he picks up space in that area and getting, obviously, Reese higher up, you get, you get that opportunity when he comes into the box or the edge of the box, so uh, brilliant for him to get that goal. I think it's 12 points clear of the bottom four now. Does, does that feel like a... Of course, it feels like a huge win, but do things just seem a little bit rosy, a little, a little bit easier going into the last few games of the season now? Yeah, it's a similar message to the player. There's seven games left. There's 21 points to play for. Uh, it's been a brilliant week, seven points to, to obviously play a massive team in Bolton, travel during the week, come back after those exertions, getting home very late on, on Tuesday night. Uh, it's a huge week, but there's seven massive games to go, and we want to be competitive. We want to try and win as many points as we can. Just to end, then, the, does it almost feel like you wish we had a game next week now? Obviously, it's two weeks now to that Charlton game, but the way we're playing, the performance levels, it feels like we almost want a game. Not with how tired I feel they have. <laughs> Not with how tired the players will feel the, the effort they put in. Uh, we will recover. We will work extremely hard next week. I think it's good that we have time to, to train and uh, you know focus on the mentality we need for the next seven games. And then, obviously, another huge game at home against Charlton. Uh, we'll have a four-day build-up in preparation for that. And hopefully this crowd and these, the people that come to this stadium are in the same uh, mood and the same voice to, to get fully behind the team because we'll need them again.